Terry's gonna scrapbook, hurrah, hurrah. Terry's gonna scrapbook, hurrah, hurrah. You'll be glad, just like me, when you see her scrapbooking. Da 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 da. Take it away, soldier. Aye aye, Capitan. <laughs> I don't think that was really my line, but that's what I went with. <laughs> Today is themes on the 13th, and it's male, but my male is going to be a baby, and it's the baby that you just heard singing. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's the only fun he gets to have. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what I'm using here. Um, these are, I think, all the scraps I have left of Baby Mine from Cartabella. Because I did the twins. I did them each an, an album that their mom could write in in her journey of having the babies. Which she's never wrote in. <laughs> She talks about it. <laughs> and um, so these were the, well, it's like I have these stickers left. And then I, um, so I'm going to be using these um, border strips. It's just a border strip week, I tell you. And this is the piece of paper I have left. And I'm going to use it whole and use it whole and just put this right on top of it. And up here. And just have the three in the middle where you can actually see the blocks and um, the background paper is Color Vibe by Simple Stories and it's the Aspen and then on the back it's Notebook which looks like this it's the gray which that would have been pretty too but I have to say let's see this is the way it should go does it matter to me I don't know Oh, maybe I like that. Okay, and the reason how come I chose this wood, because his pictures are, you know, from 63 years ago. So they're pretty yellowed. And this, I thought, really brought everything together. So that's what I'm using. And so I guess I'll just start. I think that's all I had to say. Sometimes I forget um, the stuff I'm scrapbooking with, so I thought I'd just get that out of the way. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna run out of tape. And let's see, can I make it through taping this down? That's it. Okay, I'm gonna go get some more tape. Okay, I thought I'll go ahead and tape this down. Whoops. God, I already stuck tape on there. Okay, and then, um, anyhow, I thought I'll pull off the strip and go ahead and put that on there. And it did not want to separate from this little extra piece on here. And then I get to this one, and it, it has a piece of it on both sides. And it just wants to not come up at all well it wants to come up but it's bringing the piece that it's not really connected to and it's doing the same I can get to here so tell me if you've ever had that happen I don't know if it's because I mean it is like eight years old but it seems like it was just never cut I don't know it's weird so I'm gonna pause and trim the rest of this off because I trimmed off the other side because there was some over here too and it just ain't coming up. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And yeah, it wanted to separate, like the front of the sticker wanted to separate from itself rather than from the actual sticker sheet. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Let's see, I'm gonna kinda have this in the middle. Yeah, that was quite shocking. Okay. Okay. And I'm just kind of lining it up with this first block here so you get to see the two letters. 
And then I'm going to use the um, little puppy dog. And I'm going to maybe stick it up here a little higher. Kind of center it. And then I have snips and snails and puppy dogs tails. Because you know that's what little boys are made out of. Now we used to hear that when I was growing up, I remember hearing that. It's like you never hear that anymore, but I think it's cute, so I think it's appropriate for it to be on a picture that's from that time period where you'd have heard that. So I'm just going to line that up there. And then I have, I've got this, it was part of the branding strip. You know how I'm into it. Um, I just got really hooked on using border strips and branding strips, so I'm using all that today. So I'm going to use this little branding strip, and then I'm going to, and I made little banners. So I'm going to put these on here. I'm going to overlap them a little bit, so I think I'll do that first. Because I wanted to make sure I had five babies there. So I had an uneven number, and then I'll stick that there. And did I pull up a little piece of paper here? Right there I did. Might have to put something over that. Okay, let's see, is that just right? Okay. So I'm gonna put this close to the top because I'm gonna overlap it with this. And maybe I'll go ahead and put this on first and then I'll line it up to the top. So I've really, really about done this kit in. So let's see where do I want it. Because I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to put his name here because that's what I've done with all the other babies. This is just the biggest baby I've ever heard. The, he's probably not the biggest baby, but <laughs> no, because my... My second daughter, she weighed 810. Okay, so I'm going to put that like that. Okay. I'm going to pause and do that. Okay. So I've got his name here, and he was named after his grandfather, who was a police officer, and he was murdered by his best friend and because he bought some land that he wanted and so and then this is his other grandpa's middle name okay so I think I'm gonna try to put this right there because that way they both end at the same spot I think yeah that will it's right on the edge okay and then I have this little thing that says a few notes because I'm gonna write his um, the date and how long he was and his weight that's a really handsome baby boy yes it is he looks like a, he ate a lot <laughs> Um, we looked up to see, because I got pictures of them sitting up, and we looked up to see how old they were when, you know, babies sit up, and it says about six months, and, um, but he was, um, like, just five months when he started sitting up, and I said, that's so he could get to the table. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, so I'm, 
I bought this, um, it's waxed thread or it's, um, but it's really nice for threading through buttons. So that's what I've done here. Oh, and I need to get my stickers for this. Let me see. So I'm using those um, adhesive dots for the buttons. And they're just buttons from, I think they're all old buttons except for maybe this one. It's got, it's like a light green with dark green dots. So that looks very baby-like. So I'm gonna use these to put these on. And I might have to use E6000 later because I know sometimes things just pop off. And I always hang them up on my, um, I've got a magnet board. Well, it's not magnet, it's metal from Ikea. And so it's like I hang them there for a while and that way I know find out what sticks. <laughs> okay, and I've only put thread in the buttons that have two holes. Because I figured that way it was easier to decide which ones I was going to thread. Okay, I think, do I want to do that or like this? I think I'm going to do it like this. Okay. And I brought this in because I was going to put it here, but after all the trouble I had with it, I just figured to skip it. Oh, and again, these are the originals. Um, I figure... Um, if nobody's done anything with them yet, they're, they're mine. Let's see what I want to just kind of wrap the bottom of the photo. Oh, maybe. I think I'd like that. Um, his dad wrote on him, so I thought that was pretty cute. That His dad made sure he labeled everything. He's the one who kind of was in charge of the um, baby books which are, you know, he probably didn't write in the book. He was the one in charge of the photo books. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this around three times. Um, his dad wrote here, and then he wrote here, it looks like, unless maybe this is somebody else's handwriting, but I don't, because I know this is his dad's handwriting, so I don't know why it's written on there twice, but it is. Okay, I'm just going to cut it here. And do I want it to not here? I kind of want it knotted over here, I think. And I'm going to try to wrap this around here. It's kind of pulling it up, but that's okay because that way it'll be taut when I get done, I think. And I'm going to try to pull this over here a little bit more. Gosh, that kid's good looking. <laughs> Is there an echo in here? <laughs> Sounded just like what the first guy said when he walked by. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'll just let that hang. It's all right that it goes over that. And cut that there. Okay, so then I will, once I get it typed up, I'll just stick that right here. And when I, I glue these down, that will hold that a little bit tighter too. So that's it for today. And now, um, we don't actually have a list of the people that are doing themes on the 13th, but um, you'll see the cover that I have on this as, as like you when you came on, <laughs> when you found my video, and you'll see the other people that are doing, that have that same thing. Or you can just type in themes on the 13th and you should be able to find them. Because I know Syl is playing because it was her idea. And so, 
I will see you tomorrow with something else, which I don't know yet. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.